Hello everybody and welcome to my latest tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing just a real simple light plug. Uh, it's going to be fun, pretty basic. But before we get into that, I got a big announcement. Uh, you might have been following my page and I've been doing a couple Affinity Designer tutorials. I did the uh, Captain America Shield one. Uh, this one was still kind of a basic one, uh, but it was it's long. It's about 50 minutes. I then went into a two-part uh, Iron Man arc reactor tutorial that's split up into two parts or each about an hour and uh, I'm gonna keep doing infinity designer tutorials they're really fun uh, so far I've gotten a couple people that just really like them and uh, well, I'm just gonna keep going with it because I'm having fun with it so what I wanted to do is get myself a, a domain so it's not just on YouTube so I have a identity online and Today, I am announcing that I got the domain vectorart.club. And what I'm going to do with this site is populate it with the tutorials that we're doing online. And we're going to build out the art club online. I thought it was a fun kind of way and kind of a different take on doing tutorials than what some other people were doing. And the big thing about this is it's going to give me a uh, way to kind of do big projects like this and kind of have, you know, the, the masterpieces hanging up in the art club. And I mean, little things, you know, because we're going to build the club out and something as little as a light socket uh, for people who don't have time or just depending on how your schedule is, um, you know, you might not have two hours to do this but you can do this and learn some stuff. So I just wanted to get that out there. It is not a .com, it is a .club, vectorart.club. I'm gonna be populating it with a lot of stuff and everything on my YouTube page. Um, you know, you can follow me at Vector Art Club for more stuff. So anyway, let's just get right into this plug. We're gonna keep it basic. I'm gonna to try to keep this one quick. Uh, this is what we'll be making. I'm just going to go right ahead and I'm going to delete this and we're going to start over. Okay. New layer. Uh, we are going to use the curved rectangle and we're going to draw out a rectangle for our plug. Uh, we definitely want this just barely rounded. So about five. And let's kind of make it a grayish white. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is show you symbols. I can pretty much delete both these symbols because we're going to be starting over. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get our first symbol going here. So every socket has the sockets. Okay. Okay, as you've seen, I deleted it, but um, we're not looking for straight circle sockets. We're looking to have these cut. The easiest way to go about doing this and something you do got to learn in Affinity and just in any vector app in general is how to kind of cut and Boolean objects. So the look we're looking for is this. We want this to be chopped off holding Alt and Shift. And a quick trick we can do is uh, select both of these, use the eyedropper tool. Okay, so now we can just visually, without taking too much time, um, you know, we can see we want these up a little higher. And this one, that's... We can just visually see how much we want to cut off of that. Okay, so what we're going to do 
is I'm going to show you how to use these. And they are intimidating. Even when you learn them, you, you, it's hard to remember sometimes the exact right way to do it because you got three choices over here of how you want it to lay out. And then you have five over here. You really got 15 different options. And sometimes you kind of forget, but so you might have to do it once or twice and command Z out of it and redo it. But I'm going to show you how to cut these. First, let's change these to like a red or something just so we can see what's going on. Um, we're going to want to select both of these, then um, just select all three of them. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to chop out this. So these two rectangles are on top of the ellipse. So we want, where is it? Okay, we want insert at the top of the layer. And then what we want to do is we want to subtract that from the top of the layer. That's basically how that works. It's not hard once you get your head wrapped around it, but for a beginner, there are, like I said, there's a lot of different options. And I would suggest after this tutorial, just making different shapes, selecting them and kind of clicking through them so you can start in your head getting how this works. And uh, I might do a separate video on it, just showing all 15 methods. And uh, I mean, even, you know, it'd be more than 15 because it depends on what level this is. But I will say this, this is an easy way to wrap your head around it. And remember, um, insert behind the selection or on top of the selection. So whatever you have selected is how this is going to work. So if we actually wanted to take this piece right here and cut it out of this back piece, we're going to select both of these. I'm going to want to do the top because I want the top to cut out of the bottom. So we're going to kind of keep doing the same thing and I'm going to hit uh, subtract. And then there we go. We like literally cut that shape right out. I don't want to do that in this particular tutorial. The next step I'm going to show you, we're going to bevel and emboss this, but doing this and, and making your own shape out of lining up other shapes is key to becoming, you know, to going to the next level of, of being a vector designer. So look for a really detailed video of this in the future. For now, I'm going to show you another thing that's kind of key to uh, being good more in affinity than just vector in general but uh, we're gonna do we're gonna go over symbols we went over this in the other video the uh, um, the captain Amer or not I'm sorry the Iron Man video his arc reactor we use symbols a little bit um, I'm gonna use them again if symbols are not open already uh, you don't if you don't have this little window down here, uh, let me show you another just quick tip uh, for whatever you're looking for, whether it's symbols or not. If you're on a Mac and you go to help and you do search, and uh, there we go right there, SY, just start typing out what you're looking for. Um, it's going to show it in the search. So uh, the symbols are in view, studio, symbols, turn them on, turn them off. That's how you get to that. And... We're going to select this because we want this plug to be a symbol and we're going to hit create. Simple as that. So what we did there is we're going to drag another symbol out and put it on here. Anything we do to either one of these symbols besides resizing it is going to affect both of them. Uh, put an effect on this and we're going to bevel and emboss this. So we, we actually do want to do a pillow emboss this time. And uh, because these, the modern wall plugs do have that cutout look to them. We can change the direction a little bit. And that's all we want to do to it. But see how by doing it to one, it does it to both. 
We're going to close this. Let's real quick while we're on bevel and emboss. I just want to show you the difference between them. Uh, we're going to add effects again and bevel and emboss. Bring the radius down. So we don't want the pillow emboss on this because it makes it look like the wall itself was cut out as well. We just want an inner emboss on this because we just want to emboss the inner of the uh, the little plastic piece here. So that's the difference between some of the embossing uh, things. Okay, so let's go. Uh, like I said, either one, you can just pick whichever one you want. We're going to pick this one. We're going to come in with our first prong. We're going to go pretty close to black. I don't I don't want to do full full 100% black. Um then we're going to make sure we're on the move tool and we're going to alt and hold shift. I'm going to make a second one. Uh, we're going to select both of these. You know what? Let me do the thing real quick. Okay, so let's do the little bottom one. Hold the shift key. Let's let's do this. Let's let's make it. Okay, so if you look on a wall socket, it's not just a straight circle. It's like kind of cut a little bit. So it's not quite half, it's just a little under half. Um, same thing, this is on top, this is on bottom. So we want to do, uh, hold on, roll over. Okay, we wanna do insert at the top of the layer and we want to subtract. There we go, perfect. Exactly what we were looking for. Uh, now, let's move this. Oops. Let's put it right in the middle there. Okay. I want to select all these and group them. Then, what I want to do is uh, I want to make sure this is centered. So, two ways you can do that you can turn on the magnet and. Looks like we're having a little bit of a hard time finding the center. So what we can do, let me turn that off, is select that, select the curve, what we want to align it to. And we can go into here, our align tools, and we want to align it uh, horizontally and then vertically. So now we know that that is dead center. And of course we go back out and that's what I love about symbols as we create them it just keeps creating and we can keep dragging them out, do whatever we want to do. Let's uh, go into here and do some more effects real quick. Uh, this is the group. We want this effect to apply to the whole group rather than just individual pieces. We want to do another bevel and emboss. I'm going to bring this way down. And uh, we do want a pillow emboss on this one because uh, we want to get that highlight and we do want to affect the outer rims just to kind of show that light. And we can play with these and kind of go through and see which one we do like the best. Uh, if we were doing like maybe a little closer up, maybe we could do something different with that and just have the outer uh, inner, you know, maybe we just want that. We don't want to do the outside. Uh, personally, I think pillow works for this. And, uh, I'm going to soften it up. I guess emboss could inner, any one of them could work. It's fine. So,
right about there. I almost want just a little under the middle. Close that out. Okay, so we got our plug. Uh, now we just need the little screw in the middle. Uh, that. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we're not on a symbol layer. So we want to make sure we're we're on our own separate layer. Or we're still within the group of the plug here. But if we put this in the symbol, it's going to make two because it's just going to keep adding it to the symbol. So, okay, last step here. Make the little screw. So in order to get the, the hole for the screw, hold on one sec, let me just make that the right color. And I just want to lighten it up just a bit. Okay. Let's make another layer. Put a line through it. Select both these layers. Same thing as we've been doing this whole time. Cutting it out. Now we have one, one item that uh, is really two shapes in one. So I wanna do this a little bit different. If we just go ahead and if we just apply the bevel and emboss to this, um, it's not gonna look right no matter how we do it because uh, we, we, this, this needs to be dark and then the bevel and boss, even though you think it might work for this, it's not. The easiest way to do this is make another shape over this, another circle. We're going to make this pretty dark because this is going to be the shadow. We're going to put it under it and, oops, let me turn on the magnet here. Let me get right in there. Let me shrink this down a bit. Okay, and the magnet's not quite picking up the way I want, so we're gonna select both of them and we're gonna realign it vertically and horizontally. Okay. So now that we have that, now we can go in and do the bevel and emboss and we're just going to do the inner. So I just wanted to show you that that's not, we just want to give it a little bit to kind of make that stick out, but um, we, we, we had to kind of physically put that that back piece in and uh, there we go I kept this tutorial pretty quick and simple I hope um, go to vector art club vector art dot club and let's watch this clubhouse grow and uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel follow the website and I'll be back next time with another tutorial uh, maybe we'll do a lamp. It's going to be something to plug into this. And then it's going to be another basic one. And then we will get into another uh, long one. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Go ahead, leave a comment if, uh, you know, maybe something you want to see in the club. And I'll see you guys next time.